Hey, you all. I'm back. Uh, I uh, uploaded the last video, but this is a conclusion to it because my alarm went off letting me know it's time to get the day started and get ready for work. But I um, wanted to finish this, uh, so it'll be two parts to this. But I, I ended with talking about how us as uh, black women and just a, a, a race of people at, in, in a whole, we are straight up the worst. We can't blame anybody for, oh, they're holding us back. They're, you know, because of them, we don't. No, 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 no. It's because of our doing. We're taking each other lives in the community. We're, we're, we're uh, hating on each other. We never want to see each other succeed. You know, it, it's very sad that, you know, black queens, we are, we are black queens, but we cannot, for the life of me, see fit to congratulate the next one. And I'm not included in that because I'm never a hater. I'm always a congratulator. Because I feel like whatever you can do, I can do. What God blessed you with, why won't he bless me? Unless it's not for me. And if it's not for me, it's not for me. You know? So I'm an, a, 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 a true believer on congratulating people and their success. Because why would you want to see folks as doing bad? Why would you want to sit around here and talk? about your sisters and brothers in such a negative way. Like I say, even if it is a negative, is there something positive you can find out of this? Is there a, a, a way that you can find that positive to help change that negative into a positive, you know? So it's really sad. And then to see that uh, our, our, our next seeds and generation is, is doing the same kind of exact stuff we doing. I tell you, I'm blessed with my children. I swear I'm blessed. And I am truly glad that they have the mindsets and the heads on their shoulders like they do to not believe what this world is doing is normal. Because it's not normal. This is not how it's supposed to be designed. But see, we go out every day. And I, and I see, I'm saying we, but I'm not included. But I am part of this race. You see, I am a black woman. I am a black queen. And I see what's going on. And as a whole of a people, huh, we doing real bad. So we can never try to blame it on any other race because it's our crab in the barrel mentality. Our hate for one another. We look at ourselves and evidently you hating what you see in the mirror because you're hating on someone that looks just like you. You see, bleed the same blood that you bleed. Yours ain't no sweeter and theirs ain't no bitter. You know, so I just feel like this is very shameful, uh, what I'm seeing. And, and, and I mean, it's from a bunch of grown women. And when I say overgrown, I mean overgrown. These are grandmothers, great grandmothers not showing any type of uh, matriarch ways, none whatsoever. Not trying to lead by example. You know, not sitting down and talking to y'all master Roz and letting her know, hey, we think we can do something else with the channel. You know, we, we kind of tired of uh, talking about this same stuff every day because I'm telling you, it's draining. It, it is draining. And if you are an empath and you are a, a, a person of love, it'll do something to your spirit like it's doing to mine. You see? So that's why I want to let you guys know that I am not going to be indulging in this every day. I can't. I can't. That's why on the weekends, I, I try not to tune in to any of it because it does something to my spirit. Because God knows this ain't right. And I know that this ain't for me. It's not, you know, I, I, I'm blessed by the best. So I don't have to be out here doing all of this extra stuff for any extra monumental gain or whatever the reason may be. I don't have to do that, you know, and constantly talking about negativity. That's a spirit of evil that will hop off in you. It'll hop off in you. 
And then you'll find yourself feeling bad and down and wondering, well, what's wrong with me? I ain't, my bills paid. I got food on the table. My kids are uh, uh, doing gravy. What? What? Because you're surrounding yourself by those frequencies and vibrations. That's why you somewhere you ain't got nowhere being, you know, especially on an everyday basis. So that's how I know a lot of these folks are not God-fearing women and men. They're not. So they don't get the title as, as being queens and kings because they're acting like peasants, you see? And I don't think nobody is jealous of anybody. Raj, you so good at saying somebody's jealous. What's so good about your life? What's so different about your life? Everyone has a new car. Most people have a nice home and roof over their head. You know, most people work a decent job. Why is, is anybody jealous? Uh, most people have decent kids because it starts from home. Starts from home, honey. So we see something went wrong because you, you always claiming how proud you of of watching your daughters come on the Internet bashing grown women, first of all, even though they grown, you know, but somewhere 10 and 20 years older than you. Those your elders. Those are your elders. Show some respect. Showing that they are disrespectful. And, but they, that's something to be proud of. When I got my 25-year-old, and I, I'm, I'm uh, uh, 20 some odd years older than her. Uh, mama, mm -mm. You, need to, you need to stop it. That ain't what you said and holding me to it. Holding me to it. And that's the honest to God truth. So that's why I say I would never have my kids out here dealing in any kind of nonsense that I got going on in the world or on the Internet. Because they have futures and lives ahead of them. And I want them to be successful in all that they do. Not making themselves look like a bunch of fools or ignorant. When I know my children ain't ignorant. So, Ross, since you know your children ain't ignorant, why are you uh, keeping them in this space? This is a dark hole. This is a for real dark hole. And it's showing that something was missing somewhere. Whether people want to admit it or not. Something was missing somewhere. Somebody dropped the ball. Whether you want to say it's you. Whether you want to say it's their fathers. I, I don't care. Somebody dropped the ball. You know. So for my supporters. Uh, guys I just want to let you know. I'll, I'll come out. Once or twice a week and maybe react on, on, on things that I see. But I'm going to be deleting a lot of channels. Because I don't want this in my atmosphere. I don't want this circling around me. All this negativity. All this strife. All this ugliness. You know, that's not who I am. I am a beautiful woman. I am a kind, loving, God-fearing woman. You know, so this is not of me. And, and watching folks as feud and hurt one another, that's hurtful to my soul. It eats at me to the core. And I'm talking about to the core. You see, so that's when you know there's a difference between different people, you know. And I'm an empath, so I, I, I take in all of other people's hurt, you see. And I, I, I stopped all that. Because I'm not keeping myself around people that's doing things they ain't got no business doing. Because I have to maintain and guard my peace, my sanity, my stability, guard my heart, my ears, and my eyes. Because all of this is vital to my motivation, success, and to keep moving forward in life. You see, and I, 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 I've been there, done that. I've been there, done that, and ain't trying to do it no more because I'm knocking at 50. What do I look like coming out all the time being a asshole, being a ugly, evil person? Well, guess what? That's not of me. I love. I love people. I want to see everyone succeed and do good. So keeping myself tied up and wrapped up in this sector, you know, like I say, it eats at me. So, and, and seeing so, so much evil stuff being said and done about one family, it makes me want to lash out. So now I'm being taken out of character and I'm, I'm jumping back stupid on some stuff that I don't even do no more. I, I don't conduct myself like that no more because I'm a grown woman. I'm a grown woman. 
So you act accordingly. If you want to say you all of that, act like it. Act like it. Have some class about yourself. Start loving on your uh, queens and kings. Fix some crowns around here versus trying to knock them off somebody's head. Because that's exactly what you all are doing over there in that hate squad. You're not fixing nail crown, not even your own. Y'all around here trying to slap them off people's heads because y'all mad and miserable. Because that's all I can, I can say about that because there's no other reason why. Because like I said, that woman ain't doing nothing to y'all. Her children aren't doing anything to y'all. Y'all throw these rocks, then hide your hand, then come around and play victim. You see, Raj, you real good at that. You know, and you, 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 you need to really, for real, talk to your girls. You know, stop saying you proud of this, this, this behavior. Because it's nothing to be proud about. I'm sorry. It's nothing to be proud about. But I, I'm going to wrap this up. But that's sad that, Raj, you tried to find some, you and your, your minions tried to find something wrong in this woman blessing somebody talking about a daughter and 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 her 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 hygiene you don't know that girl take a bath every day you don't know she kids hands get dirty they're kids but that don't mean she her butt is not clean and that that was wrong for you to even speak on that child's butt you know but if somebody come out and say something about your grandchildren they'll be wrong and they would be wrong because those are children they would be d dead to the dirt ball wrong. They sure would. Even though you go out bashing other people's kids. But see, old folks, women, and kids used to be off limit. You know, but now nobody respects anybody. There's no respect at all. There's no integrity nor morals in anything nobody do in the way that they move. Everybody moves so sloppy. But sit around here and act like they got it all made in the shade. You don't. You don't. But I, I'm, I'm going to leave that right there as well. Because like I say, this is a, a fresh new week. I got to start getting ready for my day. And I just wanted to finish this up. Because I refuse to come out on my weekend talking about anything negative. That's my time to unwind, relax, and enjoy what I want to enjoy. Whatever it may be. If it's not even doing nothing. I, let me have my peace at doing nothing. You see, so I, I, I waited until today to speak on it. I, I stayed off YouTube a lot this weekend. Because like I say, YouTube used to be a, 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 a safe place for a lot of people. You know, but now it's not. It's full of nothing but evil, ridiculous women and men that set out to harm each other on a daily basis so they can run up a check. So what does it profit a man to gain the world but sell his soul? Huh. I can't. It profits me nothing. It profits me nothing at all. And I know drama sales. So I know when I stop talking about these issues in this sector, I'm not going to get any numbers. But that's okay. Whether one or two or three people see my video and like my video. I'll be happy with that because regardless, it's still progress and it's progress going into the right direction. It's not keeping me in bondage with people like you over there in that Raw squad. You see, but like I say, Miss Raj, you pick your battles real good because these people come for you and come for your neck, your children, your grandchildren, and everybody. And you won't do a thing or say nothing about them. But you sit around here and come for a woman that ain't even bothering you. Kids don't even know you. Talk about, I mean, come on now. But you, you, you this classy woman, do better, ma'am. Do better. If that's who you are, act like it. But it's not who you are. It's not at all. You know? Are you ashamed of your life? Because I'm here to tell you. You can talk about all the things you've been through. I'm not ashamed of anything in my life. No regrets whatsoever. Because it made me the woman that I am today. An honorable, stand-up woman. You see? So there's a big difference. But for everybody that supports me, we're we gonna, we gonna do some different things. 
you know, and I know everybody's not going to uh, follow because it's not negative. But we're going to talk about what's going on with these celebrities. You know, they got all this money and they can't seem to get right, <laughs> you know, and, and, and we make 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 do with what we have, you see, and, and, and walk in our blessings and our purpose. You know, we ain't selling our souls out for no money, you know. So we're going to talk about the TV shows, have some story times. We're going to do some, some, some other things, you know, and drop down in the comments. And please let me know what you guys are interested in other than this mess going on in this uh, sector. Like I said, I still will be doing a reaction once, once, a, once or twice a week, but I cannot monopolize my time, my day, uh, my spirit, affect that at all because of what these other people are out here doing. They, they making their beds, they gotta lay in it. They gotta answer to God for this. We don't. If we stay away from that, we don't. We, we, we're not involved in any of that. You know, but I can come out here and speak the truth now. Cause the truth will set some people free if they just allow it. You see, it will, it truly will. But I, I, I thank you all. I wish you all again a wonderful, prosperous week. Don't let anybody steal your joy because it did not belong to them. It's yours for the keeping. You know, don't let them steal your joy. You know, rebuke them. As quick as any, any anything comes up that's trying to take you out of character and take your joy and your peace, rebuke them immediately. You know, so you can get up every morning and have a blessed and prosperous day. And I hope you all have some open doors and opportunities, you know, because God is good. Stay prayed up. He got us. You don't have to do all that unnecessary and extra stuff. If you do your part and you trust and believe and have your faith in the Lord, you're going to be all right. You're going to be all right without all the extra antics. <laughs> okay? I love you all. I appreciate you all. I thank you. Please hit the like, share, and subscribe. And cut on your post notifications because I'll be back one day this week. Uh, I, I tune into a lot of celebrity news and different things, and I, I'll keep you guys posted on some of the stuff that I see going on uh, in that area, you know. And if you guys can think of anything that you all would like to see or like to talk about or or like to just do, drop down in the comments and let me know. And I'm G for it. I'm here for it. You know, but once again, I appreciate you all. I got to go and you all have a blessed and prosperous, wonderful day. And uh, we all have to do better because, you know, if we're engaging or however, if we are the predators or even engaging in it, we're part of the problem. We're not we're not helping see fit to do better. You know, because we're keeping it on going on and adding fuel to it when we're trying to put that fire out. Thank you, guys. You guys have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.